what is going on everybody my name is Jonathan and today we are doing another tutorial today we are going to be in After Effects so open up After Effects you're going to need one file and it is going to be in the description below feel free to download that it is the floor or the texture the tile texture for the reflection for our countdown timer so download that and then let's get started First, we're going to drag our texture over into this guy right here. So drag that over into your uh, project files. Now we're going to create a new composition. We'll just comp this, call this comp one. And we're gonna do 1080, 24 frames per second. You can make this duration however long you want, whatever you need for your timer countdown. Click OK. And the now the first thing we're going to do is going to do layer new solid. We're going to make a gray background or gray solid. So create that new gray solid. Now we're going to go over here to effects up here. We're going to type in numbers and we're going to drag that onto here. We're going to you can pick whatever uh, font you want. I downloaded this digital clock and we are going to go left now let's get this set where we want it we are going to do so this needs to be time code and we're going to do time code 30 and we're going to bring up the size pretty hefty amount of size drag this over drag it over let's uh let's bring up our title action here so let's bring this up some more we'll, we'll go to 300 let's do three 300 bring this over some more probably right in there this seems oddly spaced so let's drag this tracking down not that far mm, right there now let's do negative four. Now adjust this again. Let's get this so this is pretty even. That looks pretty even, pretty close, pretty good for a free YouTube tutorial, huh? Let's get this timer set to where we want it. We are going to do a five minute timer all the way out here to 9,000. Now we're going to add the glow effect. So glow. Oops. Click and drag. And we're going to do like a blue. Probably somewhere in there. Let's drag this up some. Drag this up some. We'll call that good. Now we'll duplicate this layer and hide that one. Now we're going to go to layer, solid, another solid, same as before. Click on the top layer here, go to effect noise and grain fractal noise bring this contrast up 135 or so bring the brightness up not quite that far we'll do probably 15 15 looks good now we're going to go to effect color correction all the way down to tint we're going to change this map to white change this to a blue again good go back up to effect stylize glow again glow radius I'm gonna drag this up here pretty far 185 or so and we can bring this up some uh, we'll go to five 
Now scroll up here, hold Alt, right click and hold on the uh, stopwatch. Click down here. Now we're going to do time asterisk 150. Click out of there. Bring that layer up. Now it should have this moving around effect. If that looks good to you, looks good to me. Now let's give this some differentiation so we can see what we're working with. We'll make it yellow. Oops. Drag that down to the bottom. And now we're going to, we need to toggle this so we can see here and do gray solid one. So now you should be left with just your text and then the fractal noise layer uh, coming through your text. And then with your glow, we're going to bring the opacity down on this some. We're probably going to go, let's do all the way to 50. And then we're going to go back up to your project, add another composition. Let's call this one countdown. Drag comp one into this composition. And now without clicking in the, so click out of the comp one, drag comp one into this composition and then click off of comp one. Go up here to your rectangle tool. Make sure you have a fill. Doesn't really matter on the color. Just make sure you do not have a stroke. If you have a stroke, click on stroke, come down here, none, click OK. You're still clicked off of composition one. This way it's creating a new solid within this composition. If you have it on comp one and you use the rectangle tool, you will create a mask over this. That is one way to do this, but we are going to make sure we do it this way. Now drag over the numbers that you want to keep, which is going to be all of these. And I just realized that I forgot to move this all the way over because this is not going to be centered anymore, but whatever. Now go here, shape layer. I guess we could move this over now. So in case you missed it, make sure this is set to alpha matte shape layer one. That way it hides everything but what's on that layer. So now right click on comp one, go up to time, time reverse layer. So now this should make your time timer go backwards. So that would be how you make a timer go backwards if that's all you wanted to do, but that's not all we're doing today. So you've time reversed this layer. Now create a new composition. We'll call this your final countdown. Ah, funny. Click OK drag countdown into this one. We can probably ditch these time action title grids. Make sure you toggle this back on. You want this to be a 3D layer. And then we're going to hit control D and then rename this one. It's going to be your reflection. Reflection. And then we make sure you click on the reflection, click on your rotation tool, click on the X, and then rotate this around. If you hold shift, it'll lock it into place. Hit V, brings you back up to your selection tool. Grab this Y handle, drag this down. Probably keep this pretty close here. And we're looking good so far, right? I think we're, we can, uh, Squish this down a little bit if you wanted to. I think that'll be a good idea. Let's drag this back up a skosh. Make sure that's in a good spot. Now hit Control D to copy the reflection layer and then go back to your reflection. You can click off of this. Go up to Effect. Distort. No. Blur and then fast box blur. 
Make sure you do your vertical and then drag that out almost so it's un unlegible, not legible. And then click on your layer, hit T for your opacity, bring that down some. Let we want to see your reflection again. Hit T, bring down the opacity some. <coughs> Excuse me. Try to bring that down quite a bit. That looks good. Let's go back up to your project. And now this texture file that we had from before, drag that down onto our composition. Obviously, it's going to cover that up. You want this to be a 3D layer as well. Grab your rotation tool. Make sure you are on this x-axis and rotate this around till you're about there. Hit V for your selection tool. Grab Z, drag that down so it's above the reflection but below this guy. And now go to effects, motion, tile. Click and drag that down to here. And then output height. Drag that out so it covers, goes all the way to the front. And then you can actually do width so it all goes all the way to the past the edge as well. And now that that's done, minimize these so they don't get in your way later. Now go down to your texture layer, pre-compose, and we want to delete everything but the title, move all attributes into the new composition is important, and then open new composition. Click back into your final countdown, drag this down one, go back over here, go up to effect, Oops, make sure you click on here, effect, color correction, brightness and contrast. We're going to do negative 100 for the brightness and then we want the contrast. We're going to go to 100 for the contrast as well and that should go over here. Very good, very good. Now let's go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And drag this down so it's just above the reflection too. Go up to effect. Color correction again. Go down to no wait. Blur, sorry. Compound blur. And we're going to change this guy. And we're gonna bring this maximum blur up. Oops. I just realized something. Wait. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay. So after you've changed this, uh, go down here and click on that. So now you should be able to see the reflection of the tile texture. And now you want to change this blur as much as you want. I want a pretty good, not a super hard texture, but I want it to be there. I don't want it to be a, a question of what it is, I guess. And it's looking pretty good so far, but there's still a few more things we can do to make this a little better. So you can see, but by adding that, that adds in that floor. And we're going to go up to layer, new, solid. We're gonna make this the background. It can be gray. And then we're going to go over to our effects. It's going to do ramp. And this is going to bring up our gradient ramp. Drag that over. Make this radial. Make this black. And then this color, let's go over and do the kind of like a dark blue. Somewhere in here. That looks nice. This looks nice. And then click on this, drag that down to the bottom. Gives it that nice lit effect. 
but it's still not really doesn't have that glow that we want so we're going to create another adjustment layer drag this one up to the top and then we're going to go to color correction brightness and contrast bring up the brightness some and contrast the dog is barking at something sorry she does that a lot good amount of contrast yeah that looks nice now let's go to preview I'm gonna skip this part for you so it renders the whole thing and then we're going to watch we're going to watch So we're going to wait. So stand by. Still standing by. Still standing. All right, so we're back. Has not rendered the whole thing, but that's OK. We don't care. We just want to see what it's going to look like, right? So we're going to hit that play button. So now here we are playing back. Countdown timer with a reflection on a floor. Floor? It's a floor. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good one. Check back for more videos. Don't forget to smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified when there is more videos from me. Hit the notification bell. That is all for this one. Thank you, God bless, and we will see you in the next one.